Welcome to my channel and welcome to my bathroom because today we're going to be going through my skincare routine because I've recently switched out all of my products for natural products. Here's just an overview of the products that I've been using over the past month or so. All of the usual suspects. We've got your coconut oil, essential oils, charcoal and then natural soaps, this, that, the other. And I'll go into more depth as to exactly why I did switch out all of my products for natural products. And I'm just going to be going through a step-by-step -step guide basically as to how I use these products personally. So, first step then. Pretty standard but necessary is brushing your teeth. To be fair, I don't really do it in any particular order, but it would make sense to do it either before you put your face on or just before you're about to take it off because I've been using charcoal and realistically any brand will be fine. I've tried a few brands over the past couple of months um, and they all do the same thing and it works, it's effective. I don't yet know the science, I haven't really done my research um, but I did switch it out just because I was using the strips on occasion um, when I could afford and they were just like really damaging the, the, like, the strips, no particular brand um, but they were like receding my gums so um, I'd read a bit about charcoal um, and I'd say give it about 21 days and you'll start to notice results. It does get very messy so I'll spare you the graphics. Both of my teeth and my spitting, there you go. And then I'll go in with any toothpaste or do whatever I have um, just to tidy it all up. Um, just to get rid of the excess charcoal on your tongue. Uh, the particular brand I was using was vegan, so I think I'll stick with it. Nothing much glamorous there, but there you go. Second step then, I've been using coconut oil. Two reasons. The main reason is because I got to payday and I realised I couldn't afford cleansers and moisturisers. Um, so I had a look around my house and I find that I already had this, like it was in my food shop, it was one ninety nine or two ninety nine from Aldi. Um, and I thought, well, my acne is already as bad as it can get, like it can only go up from here. And it's definitely improved, like I'd say, again, about the 21 day mark, I think that usually tends to be the turning point with your skin in general. Um, but I just basically massage it in, whether I'm just about to apply makeup or I'm removing my makeup at the end of the day. If that's the case, I'll just make sure that it effectively breaks it all down just by gently massaging it all around my face. But I was really pleased that I was able to turn a bad situation into a good situation. And as a result, I've actually been able to find something that's worked better for my skin than products that I would have otherwise paid for. Um, and again, it's vegan and it was cheap and I can just get it in my regular food shop. Next, I'll always make sure I have cotton pads. These are the boots over ones in particular. They always have them half price. Um, I'll just wet it a bit. And then I'll just take it back into the coconut pot. I usually go through the pot quite quickly, so that's fine. And then I'll get an essential oil. I was using eucalyptus oil over the past month because again it was all I had lying around my house and I couldn't afford anything else. It sounds a bit extravagant that I had eucalyptus oil just lying around but I actually use it as a cleaning product because in my opinion essential oils for house cleaning is cheaper than buying loads of products. And then when I could afford I switched to tea tree oil because it was in a penny sale. But I'll just put it on the cotton pad with the coconut oil and just remove any excess makeup with the cotton pad and um, the logic behind essential oils is because it's an antibacterial eucalyptus oil and tea tree oil in particular. Um, if it's the morning I'll go in with a natural deodorant. I've been using this one in particular but anyone will do again. Just because I've been doing my research on regular ones and I didn't like the sound of it when I was researching it so I just thought I may as well go full natural products with that. I also use the soaps by them as well. So there you have it, that was my skincare routine. The reason why I switched to natural, because I was 
broke and acne prone. Definitely going to be sticking with these and I'm really pleased with the results.